Hi, we are at the uh, Flatfoot booth at IC uh, 2024. My name is Anders and I'm running sales at Flatfoot. This year we're showing a family of uh, Team Tablet appliances and here I have the Team Tablet uh, Flex. What does the Team Tablet Flex do? Well, it actually extends your meeting beyond uh, video conferencing. Let me show you. So in this uh, meeting room, we have an interactive screen uh, from Sharp. We have a uh, poly bar on top uh, running Microsoft Teams room. We also have attached the Team Tablet Flex. And what you get with the Team Tablet Flex is this uh, UI, user interface. So you have your video meeting as before, but now you can run it from the uh, large format. In addition, we have also presentation. So interactive presentations allowing annotations on PowerPoint, but also any third party application. And we also have a walk up and use whiteboard. So let's take a look at the presentation. So here I'm sharing my PowerPoint from my laptop that I brought into the room wirelessly over Miracast. So I'm using Miracast as screen sharing and I'm able to run my laptop from the large format. I bring up my pen and I can also annotate. And as you see here, I can do that with zero latency. So we support the uh, touchback with pen and also, of course, multi-finger. And then uh, also supporting Windows Inc, I can easily erase that on the PowerPoint. But I can continue to run the PowerPoint from the large format. If I go into the uh, whiteboard, I have access to my video call still, which I'm not going to run today. However, I do still have my screen sharing here. I'll bring that up to large format. I can continue to uh, sc uh, screen share, but I can also exit my PowerPoint and screen share any application that I have my, on my laptop. Let's take a look at this uh, CAD program here where I have the Team Tablet Flex, and I can run that also, as you can see here, on the large format, and that can be easily then uh, visible. And if I want to work on that in more detail, I can basically go back here, I can take a screenshot, and that screenshot ends up on the whiteboard. And then I have a possibility to annotate on that. If I want to move that here and make a smaller box here, like this. Coming back into my screen sharing, I also have the ability to do uh, PDF as an example. I can also do any whiteboard. I can do uh, Miro if I would like to do that. Annotate on Miro as possible. And of course, we also uh, support the touchback. And typically, a Miracost device supports uh, two fingers. Uh, we can do up to 40, and I'll show you 10 here. So, so now we're back here on the whiteboard, and. Uh, Actually, I would like to add a small post-it here. I want to remember that this is uh, at ISC 2024. I put it here. And this is a cloud-based uh, uh, whiteboard, which means that when I leave the room, I want to capture this to my personal account. And the way I do it, I go here, I have the QR code, take a picture of the um, barcode, and I save it to my personal account. And then I can easily close the board and I come back to the start screen where I have my video meeting, I have my presentation, and also I have my whiteboard. And the whiteboard I was working on, I have here on my personal account. So when I come back and I want to continue to work on it, I go back in here and I go back in here and I do open a room See the code on the, on the large format, 313, 336, and we are back to where we were before with the IEC 2024 moving to the right. Thank you.